Ladies and gentlemen, we are now about to get into the weekend wrap up. So if you were partying too much, you didn't know what happened over the weekend. If you were sleeping all weekend or out of the country or whatever you were doing, we're going to update you now. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the weekend wrap up with Nas. Yes, yes, everyone. Um, so the weekend wrap up. Um, I think last week we talked about Rob Kardashian and Black China and their feud that was going on. Um, Rob and Black China have been dating since January of 2016. Uh, we've seen on their reality show that they've been having a lot of troubles, a lot of problems with their relationship. A lot of issues. Yes. They recently had a baby, Dream, my favorite oh, really? celebrity baby. She's very <laughs> cute. Um, I stalk her page all the time. So... Um, Rob apparently posted some pictures a couple of weeks ago and videos of Black China, which apparently she sent him out of spite um, with her in bed of another man. So Rob has been petty. posting very so petty. petty. He exposed her as to uh, how he paid for her surgeries. Apparently she's been getting plastic surgery after the birth of her daughter. Yep, and she got her butt done. She yeah, Definitely got her butt yeah. done. She's been seeing other guys, and Rob didn't really like that too much. So he's been exposing her. Um, we also want to plug in the question of the day. I mean, yes. hasn't she been exposing herself? Like, that's serious. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, Thanks, I mean. Yeah. So, so the question of the day is about kissing and telling, right? So, should your, yeah, question of the day, and this is the great segue. Should you expose segue, your should ex? You, should you expose your ex uh, after you guys break up? So this is hilarious to me because... You usually learn this lesson the hard way. That's why I don't kiss and tell or do none of that because, like, even people like you really, really, really trust, you tell them something, it's like a piece of the story still gets out. Like, yeah. there's a little bit of a leak. It's always they, fabricated. Where they feel like they they didn't break your trust because they didn't tell everything, but then it still gets back to you away, and you're like, what? But that's not yeah. even what happened. That's, so I just, I I'm completely trying to cut think. That let, out. Let, me, let me think. I, I'll be honest. Let's see. Huh. I think the farthest I've gone, and this was years back when I, I got my heart broken and I was devastated. No. <laughs> so you, but, was, so you no, were petty no. after that. <laughs> no. yeah. I wasn't too I, I mean, I, I, I felt some type petty. of way. You, you kind of, yeah, you I had some that type of animosity. Way. When I, the farthest, yeah, you do, you do. And the farthest I went was to post a, uh, um, I posted a comment on Facebook uh indirectly basically saying how pissed off i was and how quote unquote women subliminal should post. be a subliminal post okay. so yeah, yeah. Subliminal when she post. read it she i think we kinda, all do that the subliminal post is not as petty as like screenshot in the conversation no no. no 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 so i think that's as close <laughs> as i got that's as close as i got so do yeah. i think that rob is petty for posting those nudes he got in his feelings no but listen see this is my thing i think rob is a sucker yo. but she was petty I, first to even show him like no, no, but see, oh yeah, that is true. Yeah, she that sent him true. the video of her in bed with that another is, guy. That is true, but I don't know if this was at because you know he went on a rant on Twitter yes. about the whole situation. So I think she posted that or she sent him that video. And that wasn't the first the time after his rant. Oh man, two patties yeah. don't make a whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wrongs don't make a right, and two patties <laughs> will start a fight. Hey, there you go. I like that. <laughs> so, so yeah. So do I think? Do I think Rob's being petty? I think he's being. I think he is. Over he the is top. the epitome. Yo, that is petty. That is petty to the fullest. And on top of that, I think he's a sucker because he, <laughs> listen, he, it don't matter how much you cannot buy love. Like, first off, you already knew what let's Black not, China did. Right. Let's not forget that his sister kind of stole Black China's man. So remember that Black China, true. Black China yep. and Kim Kardashian used to be, but you know, buddies yep, yep, and all yep, that. They yep. were seen taking pictures on social media together. Next thing you know, Kylie and Tyga are dating. Then, you know, Black China and Kim Kardashian are no longer friends. And now she wants to all of a sudden date Rob and help him lose all this weight he and get him out of his misery. He it coming. He his family saw it coming. They tried to warn him. He didn't want to listen. Mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Is, she, is she just making it look bad for all strippers? I don't want to say that's what you get, Rob. She's, but, making uh, the, she's just making it look bad for all the strippers. You know, there's yeah. some, I'm sure there's loyal strippers out there that... Uh, <laughs> are, are you going to test the waters to find out? <laughs> I'm just like... No. But, uh, but, uh, I, yeah, so what do you think? Who? Oh, you, yeah, Nas, what do you think? Well, I think, like I said, I think he was a little in his films, but he just took it a little overboard and... It's definitely it was considered cyberbullying. I don't like the fact yeah. that Black China's kind of playing the victim now. She went to, uh, I mm-hmm. guess, Good she Morning out. America. She lawyered up. Well, you know, because she got a, a, a restraining order up. against him. Oh, yeah, man. and she and in, Calif- in California, it's actually against the law to do what Rob did because it's called to revenge post, porn, or right? Something to like post that. nudes. Yeah, yeah, it's called revenge, revenge porn, or something, something like that, and it's against the law to do that. So mm-hmm. they have to the the jury has to find like there has to be evidence that you did it out of spite yeah but like, see I could say that if it was stuff that was personal in our relationship and then after we broke up then I posted it but it was like we broke up then you sent me all this revenge stuff and then I just posted it is that the same stipulation no she didn't send no she he was posting up stuff when that they were in their relationship as to, well yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. there's so okay. many wrongs there all right, so now moving on to another LA native, Shaquille O'Neal. Um, hey, he's reported Shaq. exactly. He's reportedly planning to buy 100 Krispy Kreme donut shops, and um, <laughs> apparently the Atlanta franchise Shaq, which is the name of his franchise, uh, is doing so well that he wants to expand his donut empire. Um, so he also said that donuts aren't the only thing on his mind. Shaq told TMZ that he just started a company called Shaquille O'Meals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be Yo, investing in the food franchises. No. Earlier this week in NYC, the retired NBA legend made a surprise appearance in Times Square and handed out free Krispy Kreme donuts to celebrate the Carolina-based company's 80th birthday. Do you guys? Shaq. Shaq. Oh, First of all, I love I Krispy love Kreme donuts. I love Shaq. And I love Shaq. <laughs> like growing up, and then you like he comes out with the album, and you're like, I don't know what you like. listen to that Yo, album. Yo, I bought like he had like two albums. I was bumping them joints. You really? Yo, yeah. don't <laughs> no. tell me that he wasn't the man during those times. Like that, he was in his such a prime. He just broke the backboard. You're showing your age, Mark. <laughs> he just broke the backboard. He dropped an album. The album was dope. He had a movie came out. The movie was like, what was it called? Man of Steel. Man of Steel. It was just that like was he was movie. doing everything. It's like, I mean, Shaq yeah, was doing of, his thing. Man and he was like was part of the movie. Dream Team 2 or Dream Team 1 or something like that. It but you was, was rocking that out? I had the I had the I had the Magic's jersey. I had the uh <laughs> the Penny Hardaway jersey. <laughs> oh my How was they do it? Are you serious? <laughs> Those were the days, man. No, anyway. no, I, no. Listen, okay. He must have not been into it, but Shaq was I the man. A, yeah, he was the he he was the man at, uh, for a little while, I guess. But I couldn't I couldn't get it. I, I wasn't into that. I guess I don't know. I wasn't. And his sneakers? No, don't tell me he wore sneakers. <laughs> I didn't get the sneakers. I didn't okay. get the sneakers. But that was for financial reasons. <laughs> I didn't. I never had like a pair. I didn't have a pair of Jordans until I was like in my twenties or something. Yeah, but I didn't want to get no Shaq sneakers. Never got that big though. So it, it never got. I don't, it, it never grew to Jordan. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I mean, I'm sure it was expensive at the time that it was out though. Yeah, that it yeah. dropped. So like when he wants to do his business adventures and stuff like that, and he doesn't really have a whole ton of negative press like. You can't. I don't feel like there's a lot of dirt on him, so mm-hmm. I just, you know, what I mean, I support him. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I forgot to bring up. We also have August third. Uh, the homie Steph Reed will be performing at the pharmacy along with the homie word spit and uh you'll definitely hear them. Uh, I want to say what's that? What's the date? Uh, give me one second. August I gotta 3rd. look it up. August, yeah, August third. So hopefully we can get them on the show the thirty first. Uh, they're natives up in New York. Um, Steph Reed, uh, he was 
I think yeah, he was nominated for a Grammy. Um, real cool dude, real cool dude. They're touring. I think they're up in Toronto right now, and they just finished a show up in Brooklyn, so they're in Toronto. So we're gonna get into one of Steph Reed's tracks called "The Power of Love." And when I tell you he is a dope artist, like even his performance on the stage is great. Also, don't forget to download if you're watching this on facebook live you can download the tune in app and search monco radio you can also download simple radio and uh just search monco radio and you can hear us live you can hear the music unfortunately facebook does not allow us to play the music on uh live copyright copywritten copyright stuff and whatever uh, it's stupid but anyway you tune you get those apps and you can listen to us live and also listen to the mixes so i know some people are like yo i tuned in on your facebook live and i can't listen to the music well that's because we're not allowed to play it but we can play it on the apps and everything like that so we're going to get into a steph reed track right now called power of love so give me one second we're going to pull it up and yeah, if you would like to, definitely call in at 215 619 7366 and give your opinion on this track. If you would like to. Well, what's good is the Facebook Live is like that was behind the, the scenes. So <laughs> <behind the scenes. laughs> you guys so, heard that? Like, wait a minute. The Facebook Live is like behind the scenes. So while the tracks are playing, you get to hear our conversations, you get to see. Us acting stupid. Raw and uncut. Yeah, raw and uncut, exactly. All right, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, first time on The Goonies and Monco Radio, give it up for Steph Reed, Power of Love.